Hi guys, this is Haley working on my home frame and I wanted to demonstrate a couple of different new materials that I recently got. Um, this is rug warp that I've never hooked on before. Um, I got this from Door Mill Store and I so far really like it. I'm working on a couple of new patterns that um, I'm going to hook and maybe I'll turn them into kits. Um, so I wanted to show you the other thing I got which was this new pencil hook um, from Door Mill Store. It's a Hartman style hook. Beautiful wooden smooth hook with brass uh, shaft and hook at the end. This is a six millimeter size, um, which is kind of their most universal. And I've been trying this out uh, very recently because um, if I really like them, I'm going to start carrying them in, them in the store. Um, so uh, normally what I use, if you remember from my other videos, is a Moshimer coarse size hook um, that's done me well through my many years of hooking. Um, I'll always kind of use this style of hook uh, and I'm going to demonstrate how I use each hook so you can get a sense of um, how to hook with them. So here's my number eight wool strip. I'm going to go in here with my Moshimer hook. You can see the motion I make. I go in and I stretch that hole of the rug warp nice and wide for myself. And while I do that, I simultaneously slip the wool fabric strip over the hook and pull it up nice and smooth. Again, going in about every second or third hole, this is the motion that I've been making for 10 plus years while I've been hooking. So I've gotten a lot of practice uh, doing this. And now that I'm um, trying out these Hartman hooks, um, that again are so beautiful and lovely to work with, um, you can see my motion is a little bit different. So if I switch to this hook now, um, because of this tapered shaft of the, um, the brass part of the hook here, uh, I no longer have to stretch the hole wide for myself. Um, and I'm not as good doing uh, using the Hartman hook because I'm just not used to it yet, but you can see my motion's a little bit different. I'm now going in and I'm pressing the hook down a little bit further and that hole is already made for me just by pressing. I no longer need to twirl my wrist and stretch. The one thing that I'm finding a little bit challenging is getting the spacing correct. So it, it's like I almost want to move it over instead of every second or third hole. I'm almost going in every third hole. Um, so I have to kind of watch my spacing a little bit more. But you can see I'm almost as fast. I'm getting more used to it. Um, the more I practice with this new kind of wider shaft tapered tapered hook here. Uh, the one thing I'm really liking the Hartman hook for is using yarns, be, probably because I'm not worrying so much about the direction of the, um, you know, the direction of my loops when I'm using the yarns because they're, um, you don't have to worry about that as much. So I'm finding the, the Hartman hooks working great for that. But um, but anyway, yeah, so this is this is my new experimenting with a couple new products, thinking about bringing them to the studio. If there's anything you would like to see in 2023, um, that goes for new products in the store or maybe even some new kit designs because I am developing and thinking about that. Let me know in the comments and I appreciate you watching. Thanks so much.